Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and we're out here today at the monthly backup gun match with not an old gun, but a brand new gun. I have one of High Point's actual YC9 Yeet Cannons. Yeet Cannon right there on the side. Now, they released, like, if you're not familiar with this, they had a naming contest years ago for their new double stack high capacity model. And Yeet Cannon was the name that got chosen. Now the problem was, well, they initially released a gun called the YC9, but it was just like a specially marked version of their same standard nine millimeter pistol they always make. It took them several years to actually get a double stack magazine. And the way they ended up doing this was keeping the single stack column at the top so that the architecture of the, the actual feed system, the slide, none of that changed. They just gave it a wider double stack capacity grip and you can get 10 rounds in this, which is frankly not really a big improvement over the eight in the single stack standard version. Uh, but it also has fully adjustable sights. You can get a piece of Picatinny here to mount a red dot on, threaded muzzle, uh, it's got like all the things. It's actually got a grip safety on it as well, which is a, a novel thing from High Point. And well, we have one and we're gonna try it out. Uh, full disclosure, they sent it to me for free. Then again, like the cost of the ammo is getting pretty close to the cost of the gun. And I'll be frank, I kind of like High Point because I feel like they're a very honest company. They don't make any pretensions about what you're getting from High Point. It's, it's gonna be a big, blocky, simple blowback pistol in 940, 45, or 380. They're all the same gun. This one, ooh, we've got a grip safety. That's the, the fanciest thing you can really say about this one. Let's see how it actually does in competition. I didn't make ready. Seems to work. Stand by. You're low. You're low. Low. Now I'm out. Now you're out. <laughs> I hit the mag release what accidentally on one of those. Are you ready, sir? Ready. Stand by. I went a little too far and skipped one, but I think I was able to get him. Let's see how I did. Clean. That one's good. Oh yeah. Coming in from this side. That one's good. That one's clean. Down one point here. I hesitated on this one because I wasn't sure if I had the center of the head zone. That looks like it breaks the perf. You get it. All right, so down one point. That was actually pretty good. I made up for my spastic trigger jerking on the first stage. Today's match video, by the way, is sponsored by this random can of someone's reloads that I found in my gun room. So far, they work. Ready, sir. Ready. Stand by. Let's see if I actually hit him. So that's clean. That's clean. That one is down one point. The impressive one though, if I did it, oh, sideways, sideways pistol, best group of the stage. I'll tell you what, for some reason, the carjacking stage is apparently the best suited to the high point. 
All right, this is my last chance. If I do well here, I'll do pretty decently overall. If I do poorly here, I'll do pretty poorly overall. So I've got, I need 10 shots, so I'm Barney loading this with one extra round. Here we go. Ready, stand by. Okay, range is safe. All right. I got the steel easily. That guy's clean. That one's really good. That one's clean. That's probably clean, but it's a call for the RO. Not bad. That's a perp. I'm not sure what my time was, but it was, it was a little slow, but it was deliberate. Got all the hits. 18. 18 seconds, a little slow, but. We'll see how it goes. All right, I don't know my scores yet. I think I did pretty decently, probably above 50%. Of course, you guys can already see the scores, but uh, I had a couple of issues with this. Um, I had one where it actually didn't feed, which kind of surprised me. High point usually is really good about not having that sort of malfunction, but it was at least an easy thing to clear. The other issues I had were the same that I've had with high points in the past, which is this magazine release button. For me as a left-hander, it ends up right under the pad of my hand right here. And so I stop thinking about it, I'm shooting fast, and I just bump the mag release, the mag drops a little bit. Um, what's actually in a way kind of interesting is there is a magazine safety on this. So once you bump the magazine, the trigger won't pull and you get faster, you don't have to re-rack the gun because you're not actually dropping the striker, you just have to get the mag back in then you can continue firing. Uh, normally a uh, mag safety is not the sort of thing I like to have in a pistol, but in this case, it sort of did me a favor in a way, compensating for that issue. Um, sights were pretty much on um, and they came that way from the factory, which is nice. Me personally, I don't know that the extra complexity is worth the extra two rounds. To my mind, if you want a high point, I'd go with just the classic eight round single stack high point. I don't really like having the grip safety in here as well. I'm not, I don't think I really need it. And it's just one more extra part. So I'd go classic high point. On the other hand, this does give you the option to put on a red dot. And so who knows, maybe we'll come back with this with a red dot on it. But like I said at the beginning, I really like the, uh, the just the basic simplicity of high point. You know what you're getting. They've been making the same gun for 30 years. This is the closest they've come to making a different gun because the carbines are basically the same gun as the pistol, just in a carbine form. You're not gonna pay very much. The gun's gonna work. It's not gonna be pretty. It may not last a super long time, but nobody buying a high point is trying to get 10,000 rounds out of it. So the exception, maybe some people on YouTube, but anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks to High Point for supplying the Yeet Cannon uh, for a, a fun day at the range. Thanks for watching.